from the neighbors was sitting on the edge of the street. I wonder if it's working. A little bit of dust on it. All the attachments are there. Oh, let's bring it in and have a look. Into the yard. Start her up. Let's see if it actually works. Let's check the suction. not too bad. It could be better than this. But let's check the... Well, the beater isn't turning at all. It feels jammed. I guess that could use a good... You want to clean this, probably that give you more suction. There's another, you have to take this off and clean this also. Another way to tell if your filter is plugged, just take it out for a couple, for a minute and then put your vacuum back together and then just run it and check the uh, suction in your hose. Oh yeah, there's a lot. A lot better suction now. There's a lot better suction without the filter, so I definitely know that the filter is plugged. So have to really bang that out and clean it. And if you wash it in the sink, make sure you got a fan to dry completely, otherwise it just sucks dust like a magnet, especially that uh, other filter, the white one there. Perfectly clean, or leave it out in the sun. But now we're... I'm going to take the screws out for the uh, bar here. There's the piece. A little bit of... Look at that. And here you can just bring it out. Now let's see if it spins. That's spinning really good. Usually some hair gets wound up right in there. Looks like it was sitting in one spot for a long time. Right in there. You can see how it's uh, formed. And definitely this needs to be cleaned. And if you open that up, oh yeah, you see it's this hose right here, you can take the screws out there and you can check and see if it's plugged in there. Got a little piece of stick. And it fell right through. So you, we know that this hose isn't plugged. I've got quite a few things in the bucket of water. I've got the top filter. Okay, now I'm going to clean this, but I, but you can clean it just like this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart with the screws right here and two on the other side. I'm just going to unscrew it. There's one side. off. Put that in 
into the water and wash it. Now I've got to clean the bar. Get all the stuff off. This one, this you don't want to put into the uh, water because there's bearings in there. You just want to give it a wiping. You don't want to try to pry this because they'll bust. They'll, they'll crack right there. So if it spins good, just leave it. I tried once and I cracked the uh, base here. So I know not to uh, take them apart. At least this type Bissell. Other models you can, you can take them apart, but this one here will crack. Okay, everything's dry you just slip this in the motor to the base and you got two of these plates one on each side and you just put four screws in this hose Connect it right back. You can just connect it right into there. This belt isn't round anymore and it's a little bit burnt right there. So I went to Walmart and picked up a, a new belt. There are two for six dollars. Motor shaft. Fits in that groove, and this one here, you just fit it in there, give it a few turns. There, it's in place. The wheel leveler, you can put on now. It's got little catches there, you just place put all the screws back got a lot of suction now uh. 